Now ye assemble, my children, waiting to hear the secrets of secrets, which shall give ye power to unfold the God-man, give ye the way to eternal life. Plainly shall I speak the unhealed mysteries, no parts shall I give unto thee. Open thine ears now, my children, hear and obey the words that I give. First, I shall speak of the fetters of darkness, which bind ye in chains to the sphere of the earth. Darkness and light are both of one nature, different only in seeming, for each arose from the source of all. Darkness is disorder, light is order. Darkness transmuted is light of the light. This, my children, your purpose in being, transmutation of darkness to light. Hear ye now of the mystery of nature, the relations of life to the earth where it dwells. Know ye, ye are threefold in nature, physical, astral, and mental in one. Three are the qualities of each of the natures, nine in all, as above, so below. In the physical are these channels, the blood which moves in vertical motion, reacting on the heart to continue its beating, magnetism which moves through the nerve paths, carrier of energies to all cells and tissues, akasa, which flows through channels, subtle, yet physical, completing the channels. Each of the three attuned with each other, each affecting the life of the body, form they the skeletal framework through which the subtle ether flows. In their mastery lies the secret of life in the body, relinquished only by will of the adept when his purpose in living is done. Three are the natures of the astral, Meditator is between above and below, not of the physical, not of the spiritual, but able to move above and below. Three are the natures of mind. Carrier is the will of the Great One, arbitrator and cause and effect in, my, in thy life. Thus is formed the threefold being, directed from above by the power of four. Above and beyond man's threefold nature lies the realm of the spiritual self. Four is it in qualities shining in each of the planes of existence, but 13 in one, the mystical number. Based on the qualities of man are the brothers. Each shall direct the unfoldment of being. Each shall channels be of the great one. On earth, man is in bondage, bound by space and time to the earth plane, encircling each planet, a wave of vibration binds him to this plane of enfoldment. Yet within man is the key to releasement. Within man may freedom be found. When ye have released the self from the body, rise to the outermost bounds of your earth plane. Then for a time your light will be lifted. Free may ye pass the barriers of space. Free may ye pass the barriers of earth plane. See and know those who are beyond thee. Yea, to the highest worlds may ye pass. See your own possible heights of unfoldment. Know all earthly future of soul. Bound are ye in your body, but by the power ye may be free. This is the secret whereby bondage shall be replaced by freedom for thee. Calm, let thy mind be. At rest be thy body. Conscious only of freedom from flesh. Center thy being on the goal of thy longing. Think over and over that thou wouldst be free, longing free from the bondage of flesh by thy will. Hear ye, while I give the greatest of secrets, how you may enter the halls of Amenti, enter the place of the immortals, as I did stand before the lords in their places. Lie ye down in rest of thy body. Calm thy mind so no thought disturbs thee. Pure must be ye in mind and in purpose, else only failure will come unto thee. Vision amente, as I have told in my tablets, long will fullness of heart be there. Stand before the Lord's in the mind's eye. Leave thou thy body as I have thought thee, past the barriers of the deep. Stand before the gates and their guardians. Command thy entrance by these words. I am the light, in me is no darkness, Free am I of the bondage of night. Open thou the way of the twelve and the one, so I may pass to the realm of wisdom. 
when they refuse thee, as surely they will. Command them to open by these words of power. I am the light, for me are no barriers. Then if thy words have been truth of the highest, open for thee, the barriers will fall. Now I leave thee, my children, down, yet up, to the halls shall I go. Win ye the way to me, my children, truly my brothers shall ye become. Thus finish I my writings, keys, let them be to those who come after, but only to those who seek my wisdom, for only for these am I the key and the way. <laughs>